Hey, what's up everybody? I'm going to go ahead and show you today how to create a countdown clock using Vegas Movie Studios or Vegas Pro. Um, the, the countdown clock that I use today will be very similar to the one you saw at the beginning of the video. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, for your first uh, step, what we're going to do is we're going to use the solid color. I like to use white for my first step. And what I like to do is just basically play with this. What you want to do is you want to just basically get a different type of gray that will contrast with um, your other solid gray that we're going to use here in a minute. So I'm going to make it, we'll go right there. And for this first one, what we're going to do is we're going to add a cookie cutter effect. Use reset to none. Drag that down. On this one, we're going to change the shape to rectangle. And then for your repeat X and Y, go ahead and use the coordinates to... And for the size, I just drag mine down to about 0.48. That will give you this type of look, okay? Now, <clears throat> what we're going to do next is we'll go back to Media Generators, and we're going to bring down, just use the solid gray that time. I don't change any of the colors. we just leave it as is. Now, what we will do next is you're going to want to right-click on your line 2. You're going to hit Copy. Click up onto your line 1, and you're going to hit Paste Event Attributes. So you'll see that there. Okay. Also, the thing you want to do here on this part is right here with your duration. Uh, a good thing to do is to make that one second. Okay, because you're going to be counting down basically 10 to zero. Okay. Now, when you do that, it should create little rivets uh, on your second line there, and that will be helpful when you use your copy feature, uh, which I'm going to do here next. Uh, so now I have this down to here to one second, and as you can see, there are different, different grays. Okay. Uh, so what, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and go to my transition, and I'm going to use my clock wipe, and I use the clockwise hard edge. Go ahead and bring that down, and it's already preset at clockwise. I don't really play with the feather angle. You can if you want to. Uh, go ahead and close that, and this is pretty much what we have so far. Okay. <clears throat> now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the, the first line here and we're going to just go ahead and paste it. Uh, this box will pop up, just keep it set at create a new copy of source media, go ahead and hit OK. And it doesn't matter where it is on the timeline, but what you're going to do is you're going to scoot it down to two seconds. Okay. Now as opposed to making these uh, one by one, I'm going to teach you a shortcut here. What you're going to do is you're going to hit Control B. Uh, you're going to create a new copy of Source Media. Go ahead and hit hit OK. And then what you're going to want is you're going to want eight more. And if you hit that, it should give you uh, eight more. And so then we're looking at this. And so on. Okay, for our next step, we're going to go ahead and hit Insert uh, Video Track or Control-Shift-Q. And this is where we're going to go back to media generators. I use white. Uh, you can use any color, but I I'm going to choose white for this tutorial. And we'll go ahead and close that. <clears throat> and then for the video effects, I'm going to use my cookie cutter again. Bring that down. And I'm going to keep it as a circle this time. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the size down. And what I use for coordinates for the first one is I'll use like 0.23. Okay. Then you're going to bring a second one down, and we're going to bring the second one, the size down to like say 0.22 on that one. Now on this step, what you're going to do for your method is you're going to go ahead and select cutaway section, and that will give you your first circle. Okay. And what I'll do is I'll make another video track, go to media generators, use another white circle. <clears throat> Now for the second one, I'm going to make it a little smaller because I want it to be on the inside of it. So for that one, I'm going to go ahead and use 0 0.20. And granted, you can play with this however you want. Uh, make the sizes however you want to fit whatever you want. I'll bring a second one down. I'm going to bring the, that one down to 0.19. Go ahead and cut away the section again. And then that's going to give you that type of uh, double ring look. So this is pretty much what we have going so far. Okay, 
next step. Basically, insert another video track. This time we're going to uh, add our finally add our text. And what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and bring that down and uh, go ahead and change that to nine. I like to change the font. Um, for this tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and use 200. Uh, I also like to go to effects and draw a little shadow on it. To me, it just makes it a little uh, more eye appealing. And then on this one, we're going to go ahead and change the duration again to one second. And what I'll do then is shrink this down to nine seconds. I'm going to go ahead and copy, paste, OK. Uh, and then I can use my control B function again, hit OK. We want eight more. And pretty much then you just got to go into these one by one and change the text. Uh, there's really no faster way to do this one, unfortunately. Oops. messing up here. Six. Two. Just go ahead and take a peek at what this is going to look like. Okay, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And you can actually keyframe these so it looks like they come in at, at the screen as well. Um, also, you can you know change the colors, change the background. Uh, you can add some sound effects to it if you want. Uh, I like to tend to use the old projector sound. It just sounds kind of neat to me. Uh, anyways, thanks for watching. 